Welcome to the Borg Show. Hello. So we're back to work on Dash Cap. Dash Cap? <laughs> I think it's Dash Cast. What are we working on? I don't even we're know. We're working on Dash Cast. Do Great. you remember Dash Cast? Yes. Actually, no, I wasn't there. No, you weren't there. It was me and... Um, Dash. This wee beastie. Yep. Um, Man Dash worked on Dashcast, the ultimate in podcasting apps. <laughs> yes, as you can see, the ultimate in um, podcasting apps. Um, before we get started, I just want to remind you that on YouTube, there is a speed section, little um, thing down at the bottom on your settings. And if you find us entirely too boring and want to get to the interesting bits, you can speed us up to, you know, up to twice as fast as we're talking right now. I think you can also slow us down to half the speed. Yes. If you really enjoy being bored, then double the length of the show. Or I can just Watch talk me really type slow. really okay. slowly. Whoa, that was good. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> Dashcast. Dashcast. Okay. So um, specifically, though, mm. uh, as it's been a while, so let's just review where we are. Yes. We have a. <laughs> basic app. Um, we basic app. we have uh, we connected to a MP3 that we could play sound from. Mm -hmm. Not a podcast though. Um, oh. We have. Do you want me to play it? Can I? Play you want to play it? Can I play it? Okay, I'm gonna play. This is Emily's favorite song. <laughs> Dash is too. Wait for it. Enough of that. Yep. Never to be played again. <laughs> right, because we're going to swap that out for a real podcast today. Yes, we are. Um, and also, so as you notice, we have the little slider creeping forward as Matt plays. Yes. Don't do it. Which actually isn't interactable. Interactable? Is that a word? Interactive. Interactive. <laughs> Good thing you work on It's not UX the coffee types. in the world. <laughs> Matt, speak well on video. Great. Um, yes. So what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so we we can play and stop right now, but those I don't think those forward and back things do anything. And as Matt says, it's not interactable. Do you want to see my forward and backwards implementation? Oh, um, oh yes. Look at those. They're so great. We worked very hard on those. I like uh, minimalist code. Yes. Um, there's no bugs in them. There is no bugs. Guaranteed. Yes, we can prove that. Um. Anyway, so, and, and yeah, you can't seek or anything. So mm -hmm. today, uh, we would like to hook up an actual podcast, um, f maybe flesh out the UI, like mm -hmm. how you would with a actual podcasting app, so you could select multiple podcasts mm -hmm. instead of listening to one specific one forever. Endlessly. Um, and how are we going to uh, select our podcast? Well, for now, we'll start with one. Mm -hmm. um, I think- Oh, we're going to start there? I'm getting ahead of myself. I, well, how would you like to select a podcast, Matt? Well, I thought we were going to look at RSS feeds. Yeah, so I was I was going to start with a. I looked up a particular podcast okay. that has an RSS feed. But are there are there RSS podcast RSS feeds that you would like to browse? You, you don't want to listen to the podcasts I listen to. Okay, well, um, I thought a relevant podcast mm -hmm. that we could use um, is the It's All Widgets podcast. Ooh. Um, about Flutter stuff. Yep. Shockingly, based on the name. And um, they have an RSS feed with all the episodes. And so cool. we can um, take that RSS feed and uh, parse it, mm -hmm. get all the information, and surface it in our UI. I think we also, Matt, when we last, when Matt and Dash last finished, um, the, there was some state management stuff that needed to be fixed up. So we'll work on that along with Yeah, I'm not, this is, this is not my crowning glory, uh, of code. Well, everything's in just one giant stateful widget, if I remember correctly. Yeah, not great. So we'll work on that. Yes, much embarrassed. And then, so uh, sneak peek till next episode, because I suspect we'll not get this far, but, um, next one we'll do some, uh, downloading of the podcast in the background. Ah, and Maybe we'll not wait four months for the next yes. one. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we'll, we'll get, yes. we'll be more frequent on this. All right. Okay, so where am I starting? Um, what do we need to do? Let's start with an actual, um, getting an actual RSS feed. Okay. Which I skillfully have not given you yet. So let me pull that up. 
Is this going to be typable or is it many characters long? Um, if I recall, it's it's a URL, which is not okay, very you know, human. This up the top here. Find oh, it's actually not too bad. Uh, it is. URL equals. I'm not going to read out everything I type. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Uh, HTTPS colon slash slash it's all widgets dot com. It's all widgets dot com. Slash Ooh. podcast. Com slash podcast. Slash feed. Slash feed. Duh. Great. That look right? Yep. Okay. And that's that's a link to the RSS feed. In fact, if you go to the um, like your browser, you could just see okay. a little thing of what it looks like. Copy and let's go to here. Oh, wow. Okay. I think my other browser has five million. Um, tabs I, I, open. I know that I know the feeling. If you ever want to see just how far you can push Chrome for tabs, just check out Emily's <laughs> Chrome. It's it's really impressive. I know some people have commented. I've scared Ooh, them. Ooh, that's 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 RSS. That's a, I know, yeah. Oh, look, Safari even parses it for me. Okay, so there's a bunch of RSS there. Oh, it's interesting. So Safari Safari's doesn't actually really doesn't show you the X. Oh, I can probably show source. Oh, okay. We'll push show source in Safari. Um, spot the person who doesn't use uh, via edit, view, um, hello. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it is either. Hang on. Help. I used to work on source. Part of Chrome, but uh, can't the help you. Android with. Square Open Source. Oh my God. That's all my, that's all my, my links. All right. Anyway. You could also create a new window Chrome, but I guess we will not do that. Okay. Let's uh, let's let's do this properly. Let's uh, bring up Chrome, and you get to not see my screen for a second. Uh, watch embarrassment with tabs, and we are now going to. Here we go. So. Ah, okay, that's looking nice. <laughs> There's the good old XML that we can read and <laughs> and know and love. We got Mr. Martin interviews. We got Kev Moore. We got Ian Hickson. Oh, look at all these. Oh, there's you. Yeah. We shall have to Are you on Emily your, you're in there, right? Yeah, but yours is better. Maybe. OK, so we've got this feed. Yes. And it is very feedy. So, so um, in terms of like how we're going to surface this information, mm -hmm. um, I, I only have my existing podcast app for reference. But usually, like, you've mm -hmm. got like a list. When, you, when you're looking at a specific podcast, there's kind of a list of all the episodes that you yeah. can uh, view or listen to, and then you click on one, and it will take you to some sort of player interface like what Matt has written right here. <laughs> it's hard to call that a, an interface, but you know, do you like my placeholder widget? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna be full of beautiful uh, podcast cover art oh. in the future. Are we gonna? Then we could put the list there as well, just to start. Oh, okay. I was just gonna make it um, put a separate page before, but or we can put a separate page before because um, I forgot the name. Uh, routing and navigators are simples. They're simples. They're simples. <laughs> okay, so right. um, so to do that, let's just um, we've got Dashcast app. Let's we've got a Dashcast, and that's app. everything. Which is basically, um, we've got two flexibles. We've got this big blank space here. We've got our audio controls where things get a little nasty with a stateful widget, but we'll sort that out in a minute. So what if we um, rename Dashcast app to like player or something? Um, so yep. just like, yeah, group all those widgets to the, the page that we will navigate to. Yes, because this is actually, you know, I've got my app with a boring page and a Dashcast app. It's just badly. Name. So we can rename this to um, what do you suggest? Player. I don't know. Player. I'm game for other names. Uh, player it is. There we go. Okay, and then um, we should we could have another widget called Dashcast app if we wanted, or if we wanted to call it like um, basically this is making the list of all of our episodes. So you this is a separate page. Yes. So this would be our player page. And then we are going to create a new stateless widget. Mm -hmm. And we'll call this our um, episodes page. Episodes page. All right. OK, so we now have our episodes page. 
Um, and we want to probably go to that first. Okay, so we're going to just swap this out and call it episodes page. Yeah. Okay, and now we have a blank Nothing. container with nout in it. Uh, so we probably want a scaffold to start with. We're going to start wrapping this in a uh, wrap with new widget. Scaffold. This is not going to be a child, it's going to be a body. body. Um, this is now going to be white. There we go. Okay. It's very exciting. Put in my right commas here. just so things lay out a little bit. And so we're just going to have like a, a big list view when we pull things yeah, up. Okay, so can, let's take that in We can a style it okay. in the future. Yes. Okay, so do we get data next or um, what do you think? Yeah, I, so makes sense. So there is a... Um, we're going to use a package because we don't want to show you writing XML parsing for the next Please, well, many hours. Also, just, you know, don't reinvent the wheel. Yes, very true. Don't reinvent the wheel. So um, there's a lot of cool packages out there, but there's Should one. Can I bring up pub? If you would like, if you're feeling inspired. Where is my? <laughs> Which browser are you going to use? There we go. Not my inbox. Um, so we'll go to Flutter pub. I found one called WebFeed that um, parses RSS and stuff. I think that one, it was all one word, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, probably all. There we go. OK, that's cool. Um, we got Seems 042. to be popular. Check out that score, 95. It's got 95. So uh, let's add it. Let's add that in. So the first thing we do is we open up our pub spec. And we are going to pop it in under Flutter Sound, which is another, actually, that's a plugin that we use for wrong key. And this is web feed. And we'll. Carrot. Carrot hat. And that's going to. Get the package. Get the package, and we are good to go. We should probably update some of these numbers in here. It's fine. Surf shimmy. Um, OK, so we now have um, the web feed. Yep, and you can add oh. your import statement. They so helpfully give you an example of how to call it. We are going to pop in up here, because everything's going to be in the one page for the time being. Import package web feed slash web feed .dart. We are thus imported. So we are we're going to need a stateful widget here, or are we just going to actually let's take a look at the docs real quick. Um, oh, so this is so, so we need to download it, the RSS feed, yeah, and then we need to parse it. Right. So I guess we want an HTTP package. So we want so the HTTP package. Uh, go practice just to pop this in here. HTTP. Um, and I almost know this off the top of my head. 0 .12 oh my gosh. Dot 2 plus 2. Let's see if that's correct. Uh, I see dot 1, but maybe. Oh, you're correct. OK. No, no, no. 0, uh, dot 0 dot plus 2. No. Dot 0. Dot 0. This is what happens when you try to be, ooh, look at me. I, I can remember I'm version numbers. I'm actually really impressed, though. That I remember 0 dot 12. I, yes. I, I add this a lot, but clearly not enough. OK, so we got HTTP as well. Great. OK. Um. <laughs> uh, it's the greatest chair ever. <laughs> Emily, what am I doing next? <laughs> should import your HTTP package. I import my HTTP package. <laughs> um, uh, there we go. Um, uh, as HTTP, because that's what it mostly happens now. We can do this a few ways. We could do this in a future builder. But this is kind of statey stuff. Yeah, that's a what question. Do you so let's see. We'll we'll get um, we're gonna get all the information from this feed, mm -hmm. um, and then basically everything below. We're gonna use it to build our list view and stuff. And then yep. every the subsequent page will also need at least information from that specific. Yes. So. And the one thing we don't want to do, so we could use a future builder to do the HTTP.get, and that will give us the body, um, mm -hmm. error checking, 
um, around it. Yeah. But if we do that, then in the build method, we're going to be parsing the XML. And we don't really want to do that inside a build method because then every time the widget gets destroyed is having to reparse. Yeah, because yeah, you only need to do it once oh. and get the information. So we could have a stateful widget and we could do the... Well, so Future Builder, once it's completed, once it has that information, it will have it. But that's only to for the HTTP get. We're still going to have to... Okay, well, let's start with that. We'll see where we get to. Um, so we do something like this. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, sorry, you said reparsing. I hear you. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, okay, so we were talking about adding some sort of state management thing before. Mm -hmm. Do we want to just look at, like, what that needs, and then we can decide if we need to... Do we need... Mm. Do we need a state management package, or do we just are we good with stateless, stateful widgets? I think we're going to need to be able to. So let's start. Let's start stateless, and then we'll revise. Okay. Um, so how will we, we do it stateless? We do future builder, mm -hmm. and future builder takes a, a future? future, and then and this is going to be HTTP say dot get. HTTP dot get our URL. Uh, URL. This and is then... going to return a response. Bombs, mm -hmm. which is fine. And then we've got a builder. builder, which is going to have, have the context, which you don't care about. So you can do underscore. Oh, I mean, we do because we want to navigate. Snapshot. Your, oh, yeah. Okay. We might change that to an underscore. Okay. And that's complete. And this is a response. So, so this has to return something. So uh, we can say if snapshot dot has data. If snapshot. Basically, if the futures, if we've gotten the. Um, HTTP request yep. data. Then, then we're going to have to. So, this point, then, then this we'll is parse. where it got tricky because we need to. Technically speaking, what we should do here then is let's just do a final response equals snapshot.data. Now, this is going to be dynamic, so we should probably put a. This is how I get around anyway. Snapshot response. Oh, sorry, HTTP dot response. Keep our types, and I need to be able to. Do you need to say? Um, oh, cool. And this is going to be snap hot. Snap hot. Oh, Jeremy. Snap hot .com. Um, Right. So now we have our snapshot to data, which is correctly typed. Then we probably need to do if response dot status code if we were going to do mm. error checking. So we'll just leave that in for the moment. Okay. Um, then what we would want to do is we have we, response.body and we want to parse it. RSS string equals response.body. And there's some this is Do you want to parse oh, it first? You let me let me pull up the parsing code. So we have our RSS feed. Don't need that don't new. Need the news. RSS string. There's some redundancy here, but that's fine. Um, completely broke the app. That's fine. <laughs> um, because I'm not returning anything. Oh, yeah. Because And no then we no. would. Um, ooh, what does an RSS feed look like? So it has those properties if you go to all these properties. So what we want is um, it has a list of items, and then each, and these are the episodes. Ooh, and then items. So what it has we can a title do, description. Let's get that. Um, Make a list tile. Let's um, see. We're doing a lot of busy work in the builder, mm -hmm. but which is what you were saying. We could avoid. Um, by we can we, we can pull this out in a minute. Okay. So we're going to want to ultimately return a list view. Mm -hmm. And I'd say dot builder. Um, we can like pass uh, for each item. We can kind of make a little. So with children, we can do a RSS feed dot items dot oh, map. Good point. And then just to keep things simple, we'll return the title, which probably should be text. You can probably put it in a list item, maybe. Sure. Um, children. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, the two list. Two list. I always forget two list. 
Um, and of course, this is going to be broken because we need to do if else uh, no, here else we can return a progress indicator center child progress circular progress indicator. That's it. Great. Um, oh, wow. There we go. Um, Interesting oops. that there's not all <laughs> of them. This is not clicky. This is... Well, because we don't have it on tap. Um, oh, I meant I, I'm, I'm trying to click on the... Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I'm use font. Um, well, that's not too surprising because if we looked at this, it's only showing a few of them. So there may be I'm something. I'm gonna blame the, the RSS feed. feed for now. We can come back to that. No, no, it's. I think it is the RSS feeds because you see it starts at 28, mm -hmm. and then it ends at three. Three, yeah, which is exactly what we're we're seeing. So, but we got some episodes. Yeah, something to work with. And... Um, now this is. Um, let's see. So this is okay. I mean, the problem here is is that you're in a builder but you're doing this parsing, and that means every time this widget is rebuilt. Yeah, parse that XML. Parse that, so if we were to put it in a, if we were to put it in a stateful widget, we could update the state and then that will be held on, so when the builders rerun, it wouldn't um, do it every single time. Um, but to keep going, to Emily's point, what we can do here is make this look better with a list tile title. Yeah, but we should, we'll do a, if we don't get to it today, we'll do a uh, performance episode follow-up kind of thing where we're being smart yep. about all our... <laughs> the, uh, and then what we can do is you said on tap, right? Yeah. Do you want to also, just to make it look a little nicer, um, so you've got title and then you can have, uh, is it subtitle? You could add our description let's, in there. Let's extract the widget mm. and call this... Um, Episode one, never to be watched. Oh, Star Wars reference. Uh, episode tile. We should get Jar Jar Binks next to Dash. We should not. Okay, sorry. That was a stupid idea. Um, so you said, so we have title. Subtitle. Uh, subtitle. What can we stick in subtitle? Um, I think there's a, a description field. So if you just say I dot description, and we'll probably wrap it in text. Okay, but. Get, and then we'll wrap this in text. You know, okay, yep, that's good. Ooh. That's maybe a lot. That's maybe a lot, but you know, it's, oh, stop that. There we go. You know, you can do cool things like with text, you could do, expandable tile, but... comma, what is it? It's uh, max lines two. Mm. And then we also have in text overflow. And this is text overflow dot ellipses. Eh, bravo, Matt. I'm not sure why that's maybe. maybe that's oh, it's only because it's only one. Instead of... Oh, because there's a blank line at the top. Oh, OK. So we Again, we're going to blame the I could trim thing. space, and we could spend ages making this look lovely. Yeah, I want. Uh, I think ultimately, this should. This would be great to be like one of those expandable tiles. Yep. So you could like tip, tap on it, and it will expand. And then you'd be like, no, I really want it. Mm -hmm watch the episode. But we're going to keep going forward for now because we want to get to the interesting stuff. Ever onward. Um, so Undead. we have, uh, okay, I've just, I'm, I'm in, I'm in curly braces. This, uh -oh. this, this on oin, on tap. We are going to. Small side note, that. you've titled it episode tile and it's really more like episode list, but for your widget. Isn't that the... It's the whole thing, because this is the list view. Oh, I extracted the list view. That was that was, that was was not smart. Um, we can... If it's fine. Okay, we'll... We'll call this um, episode rename, uh, episode list. Boom. Okay, good. Technically don't need the key or anything, but we'll leave it as is. So now we have this, so we need to untap. And so we're going to navigate to this. So what we can do here is we can do navigator 
dot push. of oh, that works too. context dot pop push because we're going somewhere. Push oh, we're going to start one. here. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Dot push. Should we do something different? No. Okay. No, you're right, and I'm thinking of something completely different now. I need to remember how this is. So we have to push a root. Mm -hmm. so we're material going to use page route. Material page root route. Root route. I say route in this case. Okay. Depar depends on the context when I say depends root. Depends on route. depends on your accent. That too. I say I say root with my Irish accent. Um, and then we have okay, so page root. And there's a builder. And we a so we say uh, builder, best builder. Builder, which probably takes a context. Which we don't care. So just everything underscore. takes a context. Underscore. Uh, just underscore in the little. Yeah. You have an extra. Okay. There we go. Um, and then pay, uh, player, player something or other, we whatever we call it. it. Um, player view, player. Player page, I think. Uh huh. And player page is now going to need to take some data, which maybe we call um, uh, a URL, because it's we're going to pass it the URL to play. Yeah, we could just oh, look it up right the there. Item. Uh, I dot. Oh, do we even need? Okay. Oh, I guess if we want to be nice and display everything, we should pass it the item. Okay. Technically, all we really need is that URL. Yep. And probably just, you know, we probably want to do that just because cool. you can pass in other things. To be all fluttery. Yep. Because you want to pass in the keys and other things if you need to. Okay. So we have this. So this is looking good. Um, and our player page here now needs to have a constructor. And our constructor is player page this dot item uh, final uh, item item is it item or is yeah, it yeah and you want it oh RSS item oh okay yes and you want it to be in um, curly braces so that it could be braces. a named parameter. Good. So this will work, except, well, <laughs> this will work. Do you want to do the honors and see if, if, if everything blows up horribly? OK. We got somewhere. So it's, it's still going to play awesome surf music. Now, um, I want to point out, we don't, have, um, we don't have any way to get back. We don't have any way to get Is back. That some, do we do something funky with the player page? Yes, I don't have an app bar. Mm. So we're going to put in. I'm going to make another Star Wars joke. App bar. Do it. <laughs> you already led up to it. Really? Okay. Here we go. So we're going to put in text. I'm going to call this Admiral App Bar. Yay! Another Star Wars joke. I think we made this one before though. So, but we do have Admiral App Bar now, which is fantastic. And which ultimately will be the name of the episode. I'm still trying to click on this. So let's see if that works. Ooh, there we go. Success. Okay. Yes, this will be the Admiral Akbar episode. This episode is a trap. <laughs> All right. So, um, so Matt, let's. I'm laughing. <laughs> it's okay. I amuse myself. What are we doing? This is. Why don't instead Admiral of Admiral Akbar is going away. Admiral Akbar has been replaced with the name. As of the in episode. the last Jedi, killed off screen, and I'm still sad about that. Don't get me started on the death of Admiral Akbar. Oh, no. Um, yeah. This is going to be... He was a really good puppet. I Almost was... as good as Dash puppet. I know. I know. I kept thinking sushi. Um, we can put in the title. Yes. Let's. Oh, hang on. You need to click. Look, it's Kevin Moore. It's Kevin Moore. This is... Well, Kev's now famous on The Boring Show. Yes. I don't think he's ever been on, has he? No. We should get him on. He could be on. Be um, uh, Kevin Moore works on um, running Flutter on the web. Nice. Uh, and in the future, we can clean this up and like maybe do parsing where we just like cut off that number. And so it just says, Kevin Moore, because do we really care that it's 27? I mean, yeah. Maybe. And it's like, but like this code is getting kind of ornery. But OK, let's keep going. <laughs> Ever so, onward. Ever onward. This is how technical debt happens. This is how technical it is. Me, and there's you. So this is all working fine. OK, except, of course, we're not going to yes. playing. And what I could do now is I could just start, I mean, without any state management, mm -hmm. 
what we can do now because we have we're going to have to pass the item to the player and then that's going to pass it to the placeholder in the controls and we're going to pass it down the tree Oof. we could just take the hit and start to, yeah um, okay it is time <sighs> okay so let's um go up the top so basically just to clarify what matt was saying um is to get that url and to pass it all the way down to our player mm -hmm. controls we're gonna have to pass it through like three or four widgets down and that's kind of annoying. So instead, it is time to introduce state management. State management, so where we don't have we to pass everything around. Right. Here, we just need to go and probably provider. Sure. I think Philip would uh, Philip would uh, be happy if we use provider. So we are going to take provider and we are going to add it into our pub spec. Uh, provider. I call it hat. What do you call it again? Carrot. Carrot. Okay. No. It's a hat without a head. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't really look like a hat. I don't know why they call it a hat. Uh, or maybe it's, it's just like, me. It's a very fat carrot, you know. It's a. How does that look like a carrot? I don't know. Okay. Don't ask me. All right. Other people call it a carrot. I'm not alone. Um, and so we're going to have a. So we're going to start. Let's create a simple data class. So we're going to have class. Um, I don't want to call it item. Uh, well, so, okay, do we want... Um, ultimately, this is going to have uh, multiple podcasts. Do we want to have a data class represent the podcast itself and then, like, all of the parse data in it? Or do we want to do it just at the level of item? We could... Well, we could Ooh, really start you... to tidy the whole thing up now and start to have a... Not even pass it back through... Because we don't need to use the navigator to pass the data now if we use the, the package, because it will hold it up at the top. Right. Uh, what I was asking is, like, what sort of, what data are you going to be storing? What so, granularity? So the minimum we need is um, the episode. Mm -hmm. um, we could store the entire feed mm -hmm. and have selected episode, and that way we're not having to reload things, because it caches the information. Which would you like to do? So we could have class, let's just call this thingy. Uh, um, and we're going to use a value notifier, I think. What's it called? Um, um, let's, I'll look at let's the provider. Let's double check. There's a bunch of providers here, and we have choices. And I think a change notifier. Mm, sure. So we can have a change notifier. Um, and this is a mix-in, so um, uh, that's nice. And then we can have, so we could What's changing in your change notifier? Uh, the selected item, the, um, so for example, we're gonna have RSS feed, uh, feed. We're gonna have RSS oh, item. I see what you're doing, okay. Selected. Is this a good idea? There's our data we're holding. <laughs> we need Philip. Um, and then we're going to create thingy with... Uh, we don't even need a constructor for that. Um, Should we call it... Uh, mm -hmm. f podcast? Instead of thingy. Podcast. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> um, and then what we're going to have is... We're going to have... Um, a getter and setter on the RSS feed. Uh, get feed. How does this, is this getter is remind me the? Yeah. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna have void set feed RSS feed value. Or feed equals value. Is this looking okay or am I? And then we need to notify listeners. And then we're going to do the same thing for our um, RSS item get selected item. So 
selected item. What do you think? Sure. Um, I... I think, and to simplify it further, like mm -hmm. we only care about the resulting feed. Um, we don't care about the unparsed XML. So like. And I feel like it makes sense. This is the class that holds information for the RSS thing. So could we also um, pass it the unparsed XML? It will do the parsing there and then notify listeners that it has a new feed. Oh, that's smart. That's that's kind of cool. So basically, what you're saying is we are... Maybe take away a set feed and you can... I mean, you could yeah, have it, but like... Don't even here yes. I'm dumb. So what we could have is we could have... Um, I mean, we could leave that there, but um, so what we could do is we could have get the feed, and then we could have uh, void parse. Mm -hmm. Just call it parse, and yeah. then we pass it a string of uh, XML. feed string. Oh, and I'll XML. just reiterate. I think most of you know this, but um, generally it's not good practice to have a getter and a setter for a field in Dart. That's you would just like have the field public and then people can access it. Because mm -hmm. um, why add extra boilerplate? But in this case, we have that getter and setter because um, Matt's added that notify listeners. So basically we're sort of controlling access. We're, we've made access to all those fields visible, but we notify everyone when they get modified. So so basically we have one extra step for when things happen. And then we notify listeners. So now the, mm -hmm. so we give it the, the raw thing. You could. Yep. Um, so we don't need this anymore. Yeah. Um, so we have a getter for the feed. We have the parse. This is going to notify the listeners. So we can start just by using this to handle updating that list of feeds. And then of we can episodes, worry about that. Yeah. yeah. Episodes, I beg your pardon. List of feeds. Um, Good. So what we need to do then is, I mean, technically At we the can... very top, so above that episodes page, we want to wrap it in a change notifier. We could even, we could even do the get your, we don't need the future builder anymore. Yeah. Because what we can do, oh, what, oh, mm -hmm. this would be, because we could theoretically do... Uh, well, we Ask could... if the, you just pass in the URL and it parses and does everything. Yeah, we need to make this. You need to know whether there's async though. Because we're gonna mm -hmm. wait on this. So we'll be So we'd have to we still have to there's a chance that like we access the feed and there's it's null. Yes, there are problems with errors here. Uh we but we can just be check to whether there's information in the feed. We should maybe like every time parse is called, we set feed to null. Mm -hmm. So that everyone looking for, if they like check the value of feed. Yep. I guess since we haven't called called notified listeners, it won't matter. Uh, yes, because notify it will only update when listeners are there. So what we could do is we can, um, I mean, we could then if there's an error, we could have an error status inside here, and then it would notify, and you could check for the error. Um, there's a bunch of ways we could do this, but let's just do this real quick now. Res, let's just. Assume no errors for the moment because we're not doing anything with errors anyway. We do uh, final body equals rest dot body. Yeah, I imagine you could just throw um, and like let whoever else is dealing with it handle how they want to mm -hmm. display the fact that there's an error. Okay, so we've got our parsing. We're not doing any error checking at the moment, but we get the feed, then we parse it, and then we notify the listeners. Uh, so then what we can do is we're going to lose all of this at this point. Yeah. So our future builder is going to go away. So first off, we need to inject this into our app. Mm -hmm. so, so wrap it inside that um, need to put episodes up. page. We need to put it above that because we navigate to another page, and then it will lose it. 
So uh. we need to put it at the, Okay. Yep. We need to put it up here, I think. So wrap with a new widget. And this is gonna be a change notifier oh, provider. Sorry. Uh, change notifier provider. Import package provider provider. Okay, so we've got a provider. Um, we've got a change note of our provider, and this takes a uh, builder mm -hmm. and returns change notifier. Creates change notifier using a builder and automatically disposes it. So we need the builder, which is probably going to take a context. Context? Build context? Yep. And we're just going to pass it an instance of podcast. And I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. And then down here, we're going to jettison all this lovely future builder stuff. I'm going to copy it just in case everything goes horribly pear shaped. Um, and we're going to use a consumer of type podcast. Mm -hmm. And what does this take? This has another builder, right? Uh, build context podcast. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a yeah. builder, builder, which takes my context the particular value podcast, podcast and then child which you don't really care about no, we don't care child's just there for performance potentially and okay so we have um so now we have our list of items from the pod oh, we have the feed mm -hmm. so now we basically go at we return episode list view Oh, this actually just takes an RSS feed. So we could technically have done it there, but that's fine. Um, Quick question. So mm -hmm. I think you want to, um, because right now we only have one podcast feed, do we want to, when, in that initial constructor up top, uh, um, do we want to like construct the podcast and say dot parse and pass it the URL? in right here oh, builder podcast um dot no inside after the close parens so build podcast oh you want dot this to be parse oh a dot That's dot it. i guess double dot so that you can just like yep and double dot just as a reminder is um we're doing something with that object that we just constructed in this case podcast mm -hmm. but we're returning the podcast instead of whatever parses, which in this case, parse returns void. That's perfect. OK, so that's going to do that here. Now, there's the only still the chance that there's that still we need to check the value of podcast feed. We need to check the value of podcast feed because this is still going to be built. Mm -hmm. um, so so I think you could say uh, if podcast.feed um, does not equal null, do that. If it does, you can do your little yep circular progress indicator. So we do, well, why is it not liking podcast off feed? Too many position arguments, zero expected. Because you did, it needs to be items colon feed. You made it a name parameter. Remember that? Oh, I did. No, uh, here is a name parameter. Yep. So this is RSS. Um, OK, but that's not going to work because we need to do podcast.feed. Question, not question equal to yeah no or just question question right I have to question question here right um yeah and not just not equal to no. we oh we need to ternary something. okay no I'm sorry yeah. you're right uh, so if this is not null do this I can't wait till we have non null ability it's gonna be so awesome. Well, in this case, we're making use of null, though. That's true. We'd actually have to do something slightly different. Uh, we could do the same thing. Cause, sure. Because we're not specific. We could just say that this is nullable. Non nullability will be coming, but don't worry. It, it's not scary. It just means that you can say certain things are can never be null. 
But in this case, we're making use of null, so we'll, we'll keep it. OK, so we've done a ton of stuff here, and the stateful widgets and all sorts of things being created in the background. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, definitely. And then we're going to work out. Um, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Because you have me and Dash here to help out. Philip would be proud. Um, Great. So let's actually hook this up to um, in our, we can tap on one. So that's still going to work, but we're not making, we're not, we're use, not making of use of the actual MP3. Okay. So let's pop back. And what we're going to do now is we are going to, where we have on tap, Mm -hmm. We still have navigator.push, but when you untap, what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, uh, what can we do? What are you trying to do? Get the information? Yes. I but think you don't actually need to, because it's still at the top of the you, player page itself can just get it. It can be a consumer, right? But we need to set the selected item. You can, oh, I see. Um, yep. So I'm just trying to remember, because you can do something like um, podcast.ofcontext? Yes. Is it, no, mm -hmm. it's, it's it, no, I'm sorry, it's Provi uh, provider. Dot of provider. And then angle brackets podcast. Yes, and I got my angle brackets in the wrong uh, place. Dot so. of, yeah. Context dot. Um, and we're going to set item. Did you select it? Select it. There you go. Equals I. I. OK. Perfect. And now we no longer need to do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was fine, but. Um, but no need. And then you can remove the um, constructor from that. I can. Oh, yeah, that's true. No more constructor. And, and now we want to do. You can say. Um, oh, you see, this is never going to update. So we don't necessarily need a consumer here. We could just get it directly. Right. Um, so we could just do this. Yeah, and I imagine we're going to be using a fair bit, um, that selected item, a fair bit to do a oh, couple different things. Yeah. So I would just put it at the top of build um, and define it as a variable. Um, well, we're only going to use it here once because it actually drops down to the other oh, okay. ones. Good point. Great. Um, but let's, um, let's save this. And see what happens. Yep. Cool. That still works. Um, and now. So we can start to do fun things. We can, um, for example, where we have placeholder, just you know, to put something in there, we could do text. Now I'll, I'm going to do what you said here. Final item equals. Uh, you need it in the oh, build method. Oh, I need it in the build method, of course, because it's context. So I can pop that in here, and I can just do text item dot description. It's not bad. So visually appealing. I know, and it's probably going to overflow if it goes too far. But we could wrap this in a single child scrollable. scrollable th yes, something. but you know, something to worry about. So now we have that, and then so here's the big test. We're going to. In that URL, instead of hard coding a URL, I'm going to pop this in here. No, no I'm not. I'm going to pop it in state. In your build method, because you and need that context. Methods. I'll get this right eventually. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop it into, where is my build method? It's there all the way down here. I'm just Did you not paste it? Copy? I, I, I messed up a copy paste. Exciting times watching me mess up copy paste. Um, there we go. And we are going to. Now, here's an interesting thing because we have the URL. Oh no, let's just find all URL, so that's fine. So, so I we... would cut that. The problem so we know is, is that we are doing it in our state management. So, not in the build method. So play gets called from our build thing. So we'll just pass the URL oh, that's that's being played. OK. Play final, final string URL. Look for what's broken. Uh, did you delete the URL? 
also. Okay. Item dot URL. So I looked at this feed. It, the, it looks like the GUID is where they have they're storing the URL. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's just get rid of this. Oh, I like shimmy. No, gone. Right. Sorry. No more shimmy. Um, and it's complaining here a little bit about slider because I don't have an unchanged. Um, you know what? I'm just going to fix this because I think I can just make. Right, so this is a stateful widget. Problem. So let's um, let's just do a hot restart. Oh my, nice change to Okay, so who would you like to listen to? Um, let's listen to Matt Sullivan. No, no, okay, let's listen to someone else, please. <laughs> Fine. Let's listen to Neelai. Yes, much better choice. Um, do you want to do the honors? Let's sure. Let's play. So. This is downloading, so it's going to be a minute. We're going to oh, fix okay. downloading that. Hi, thanks for listening. This is the It's a Widgets Flutter podcast. Oh, it works. Born, it's it's it works. Get a chance to talk to another amazing member of the Flutter community. Which one? Make sure we get This episode, right. luckily speaking with Neelai. Hey, hey, it's even the right yeah. episode. Um, great. So we have introduced some basic state management. We have an entirely new select matic widget. Um, I should rename this Selector Magic. No, I won't. Um, and Go we've got that. playback of. Okay, so that's good. So. Um, we're yeah. ahead of the game. We are. Uh, let's see if. Is there one more thing we can do to kind of like. Squeeze it in. This we're up almost at an hour. I mean, what okay. we could do is if people, you know, we could tidy some of this up. But um, what was the next thing you, th you were thinking of doing? Um. Har har. Uh, well, let's see if let's look at the RSS feed and see is there a um, like album art? Yes, let's link. Maybe. Let's pretty this up a little bit, just to wrap. If not, up. we'll just we'll call it good there. Yeah. And, uh, I'm just looking here. You can see uh, my text. Got some flexibles going on. Um, I could probably make one of these expanded as well, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's see here. So we've got description. We got image. What is this image? Yeah. So there's the it's all widgets podcasting. I mean, in this case, it's kind. They're the same. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, we can stick that in. Oh. Ooh. Oh yes, I can't. Suspended and there. flexible. Um, in fact, what we could just do. I wonder would that work if we let's, let's get to that. Why don't you make it your okay. image at the top level so that it's part of it's one of the flexible things? I'm just curious because I said like you know take up nine, take up two, but it's still resizing itself to there. I wonder what well, because there's no more text. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Um, I need to play around with that. I always flexible sometimes trip me up. Um, right, so it can be next episode. We are going to pop in here. You would like a? Is it? Is it coming from a network? Yeah. Again, we'll we can. Ooh. So we could do image dot network. I think mm -hmm. oh, there's network image, and the source is going to be. Um, it's all widgets dot com slash images slash podcast dot jp uh, jpeg. Can I pull that from the RSS feed? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> no. Um. So item dot. Oh, this is going to be, this is at the feed level, so Okay. Uh, feed.image.url. So what I'm going to do here is, okay, I've got my item. So it's going to be, ooh, so this is now. Um, Instead of, we want what? the whole, we want the whole podcast. Yeah, so so could, let's just make two just variables. Okay, podcast item. Um, uh, it was called what? We had it called selected item. Selected item. Okay, 
and then here we're going to have podcast dot feed dot um image? try image yeah image dot url uh i'm going to wrap that in a flexible Let's see, see what, what it looks happens. like um it's overflowing so maybe we can uh five wrap this in a widget in the single child scrollable thing i could also put in a single child scroll because yeah like you just idea. want that little description because we kind of like i kind of like having you want the image to like bleed full and just have the description oh i see what you mean so we hang on it's single so. child scroll view so we're going to need another column here because we do you, you always want your controls to show right you don't want to scroll to the controls right i just want i want to just scroll this text Yes, so we need to have the image and the text in a column. Why? They're already in a column. Yeah, but they're in a column with us. If we make mm -hmm. all... So what we could do... Um, I mean, we'd have to put single child scrollable here, right? Can you not... Oh, you just want to make the text, the text scrollable. scrollable. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> me no understand what that meant. Okay, single child scroll view. And I think you probably don't want it in flexible because it'll be nope. Why expandable and expandable. Why is that not finding? What have I done? Single child scroll view? Single child scroll view. Uh, and we just, shall... Just that text, I believe. Yeah. Remove, um, replace widget with its children, which AKA delete. Took me a while to work that one out. Um, oh, and of course I can't. Okay, so now we, can we wrap this single child scroll view in a um, flexible? Yeah, we're gonna should, have to, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think we should be able to. So I actually should have moved that to its parent widget. That's my fault. That's okay. Uh, right with a new widget. Flexible. Flex. And maybe flex a little less. <laughs> maybe flex a little less, but it shouldn't have to do that. It should, it should still flex to the size of the screen. Mm. Um, hmm. We've got our little scrolly thing, so that's great. Right with a new widget. I wonder why. Oh. Because it's not, they're not all flexible. And flex. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm no flex expert. There we go. So now we're flexing our, <laughs> we're flexing our flex knowledge. Um, and the one thing we could do here is that looks great, but there's a little bit of space. So we could do, how do you do this? You know what you say? Um, image dot expanded or. But flexible, you can't put expanded in a flexible because both. No, of those but what are... I mean is, you know, how you can do scaled and full screen and. Oh, the box fit thing. Yeah. Oh, I could put that. But in isn't box. that what we just? That's where we were before. Essentially, we were expanding to fill out the space. Hang on. Let's just see if this, if this, this. Emily is not convinced. <laughs> it is my job to persuade oh, me. What is it? What do you wrap an image into? Well, it's the image itself. So I think there's a parameter on image that says like fit and it's box fit. Cover. Fill. It's because it's in this big flexible that like I still thought it would have expanded. Extended. I thought it would, you know. Mm. No, that's not working. Well, okay. okay. Try, try just setting the height then maybe, or the width, just to see if it'll. So, oh. No, then it will over. Then it will overflow probably. Um, I really? Also if it's not flexible. Uh, okay. Can I set the height? Mm -hmm. Should be able to. Oh, maybe just wrap it in a container. Yeah. 
But then we're hard coding the height. I know, but I was just trying to understand what was going on with your yeah. cover thing. Because I thought that if I did fill, that would that would fill the whole thing. I'm missing something here. I think we might have to wrap this. We have to wrap the image in a. Uh, so there is a there is a, there is a fit box. There is some sort of thing that you can wrap it in where we can get it to. Um. So by default, images will expand either to their size or they will expand if they're too big, they will fill all the available space. Mm -hmm. So like if we didn't wrap it in a flexible, we would get that behavior. Well, what I'm trying to do is because it's constrained to this, you can say it to grow to fill the, I'm trying to fill the edges. I know. And that's what I'm saying yeah. is without flexible, it already was doing that. Well, it was also filling it that way as well, I think, and overflowing everything, which is why we put that in there. But that's fine. Um, there is a way of doing it. We probably are out of time, though. OK, well, but that's still that. looking pretty good. Cliffhanger. What will happen next? All right. So um, great. Thanks for watching, possibly mm -hmm. at a super fast speed. Hi, thanks for listening. This is the It's a Widgets Flutter podcast. My name is Hillel Corn. I was going to do a summary, to talk but now I'm competing with Hillel. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. Um, so we added provider. We did. We hooked up an actual podcast. Mm -hmm. um, we parsed an RSS feed. We did. And we um, worked a little with layout. And there's more to be done. And so the, the next thing I really want to do is um, download these feeds in the background so that, yes. um, yeah, we're not hitting website every single time and that you could listen to them offline mm -hmm. like a normal podcasting app after that we can make it all pretty yeah this is coming together we can even then have multiple podcasts yes for when you work through every episode of it's, it's widgets it's, and you yeah, get search for podcasts there's so mm -hmm. many great things so thanks for watching put comments um on features that you'd like to see down below and we'll see you in the future Bye bye